Hello Vegan Prism and today we'll be taking a closer look at soy. Now soy there's a lot of myths around it arguably that one of them makes you gay. Now we here at Vegan Prism we love our soy especially the unsweetened kind that is the, actually the healthy one and we're not gay and even if we were like come on stop stop making people afraid of turning gay as if it's some disease you can catch through your actions. Now there are so many medical professionals who have time and time again, even today in 2020, where they plant seeds of fear in their patients that uh, soy will actually make you gay, that uh, soy will end up having you causing problems in your bones. Now, there is so much literature. And even breast cancer. And breast cancers, yes, and prostate cancers. And people have to actually ensure that the doctors are saying the truth. If you are having lactose problems, make sure, and the doctor tells you soy makes you gay, that is not a medical opinion, especially in the 21st century. Doctors, make sure you see the modern literature. There is so much evidence where people have the highest rates of consumption of dairy milk, they, they also have the highest rates of bone fracture, osteoporosis, other bone problems, uh, breast cancers, prostate cancers and the like. And inversely, the countries where you have the least consumption of dairy milk and they typically also have consumption of such products like soy, they have the least problems of uh, bone problems, bone fractures, cancers of many different types. And it is true that dairy milk does contain calcium but it is not the way it is built it is not good for the body it turns into an acid and actually the body ends up throwing it away and we end up losing not the calcium and so many people who take milk every day they end up having osteoporosis i mean think a bit so you're taking the calcium from the milk and you're having bone problems there's something definitely going wrong there and yes, soy does contain phytoestrogens and it is shaped in a similar way as to a sex hormone, but it is not a sex hormone. Medical professionals, gynecologists, pediatricians, midwives, there are stories out there, unfortunately, where people actually tell their patients that soy will cause you to be gay, that the baby will grow up having problems in their bones. This is not backed up by research. This is just simply fear mongering. It is important. Doctors, medical professionals, do your research. Make sure you look up the modern literature that is backed up by study after study after study. And if you do not want to go down that route, there are nutritionists that are qualified to know how food and nutrition affects the body. So it's the medical professionals to diagnose what needs to be diagnosed and then it's the nutritionist's jobs when it comes to how to tackle it via food and nutrition. One last point, milk contains sugars. Guys, ladies out there, the lactose itself is a sugar. sugar. So if you're taking, for example, you have problems with sugar and diabetes and the like, for example, and you say, oh, I'm having my tea with skimmed milk, lactose is still milk. Even if you take lactose-free, most of the lactose-free products have actually enzymes to combat the lactose, so they're not really lactose-free. They just tweak around it. And most of them are full of fats. And most of them, not to mention, yeah. of course, full of fats. Why? Because milk, just like your breast milk, is built to make the animal grow as quickly as possible and it is not to mention built for cow's milk cow's milk is for cows dog's milk is for dogs rat's milk is for rats camel's milk is for camels human's milk is for humans so cows goat's milk that's for them not us and when you stick to the plant-based alternatives vegan prism recommends the uh, unsweetened versions because even when you look at the nutritional, the nutritional information it's just amazing we have here for example vitamin d b12 fiber everything the body needs here so thank you for joining us here leave your comments in the description below and catch us on the next one ciao